I feel like I ain't recorded video in a long time, bro. But as y'all know, feel me? As y'all know, we gotta do our intro, bro. I know my intro in a minute. The reason why I ain't been uploading crazy, you know what I'm saying? School, feel me? I gotta lock it in school, cause it is my junior year. But look, all we're gonna be doing, bro, we gotta do our famous intro, bro. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Every single time we start off a video, we gotta do our intro. And y'all just know. Oh, hold on, wait, 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 wait. If you heard this song, then bro, you know this song is fire, bro. Feel me? I'm on walk in this bitch on my fire. That's your whole I pass right to that guy. Her niggas switch on the game like they buy. I don't fuck with these niggas, they lie. My bitch bad and she pray to Allah. I get so high when I'm smoking on top. What's going on YouTube? Now I am here and I'm back here with another banger video and yes look y'all see today's title in the thumbnail bro We is back! Title thumbnail don't say that but look we is back I know I told y'all I'm gonna try to be consistent but look school is in the way of that so we gonna have to, I'm gonna just be uploading every weekend and stuff. I'm gonna try to upload on weekdays as well. But look, as y'all see in today's video, bro, title and thumbnail, bro, I'm gonna be teaching y'all how to design the best photos, how to design your photo shoot pictures for your clothing brand, bro. I know y'all seen my last job. If you guys are in tune with me, bro, y'all know I got a clothing brand named Statement Brand. In last video, y'all asked y'all if y'all wanna see how I design my photos like that. So today is the video, bro. If you guys don't know how to design, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how I design my Photoshop pictures and all of that good stuff. Because a lot of people asking, yo, how do you design that? How do you design that? How do you design that? If y'all know me, bro, I'm an actual designer. So I know how to design and do all of that, bro. But look, if you guys are new, bro, hit that like button and subscribe. We are on the way. I'm gonna look at I'm gonna look at the count right now, bro. Let's see what we on to, bro. We on the way to 6K subs. I'm glad we are getting 10K by the end of the year, bro. That's my goal. 10K by the end of the year. But look, I think we're gonna hit it way faster than that. I'm gonna go and say the goal is that we're currently at 5.5304 5, subs. We low-key gonna get... We're gonna get 6,000 by the end of next week, bro. Feel me? So everybody hit that like button and subscribe. You know what I'm saying? Tell your friend and tell your friend to hit that like button sub, bro. Because you know what? We giving free sauce, bro. Look, a lot of these brand owners be gatekeeping. How do they edit? How do they design all that? But I'm finna tell y'all all of that right now. If you guys wanna know how to edit, just like my clothing brand, if y'all know my clothing brand is right here, statement brand. You feel me? I can see that little IG page and everything. So yeah, I know a lot of people that don't know how to design, but I'm finna teach y'all this all right here. I ain't gonna do too much talking, bro. And let's get straight into this video, bro. And I like my subscribe, and let's go. All right, bro. I don't know if the the lighting is good, but look, we just gonna have to. You feel me? If you guys are just now watching me, like if this is your first video you watching me from, I'm gonna just go ahead and show y'all all of my photo shoot pictures that I have came up with. I'm gonna just show y'all to let y'all know, bro, I got some experience with this, bro. Y'all don't wanna be getting information from someone that, that don't know what they talking about. So I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all, bro. I'm gonna share my screen, bro. I'm gonna show y'all the pictures. I'm gonna teach y'all how to edit and all of that good stuff. So you look, as y'all can see, screen right here, pop up screen recording right here you feel me this is my clothing brand statement brand you feel me and look i i edited all of these pictures so if you guys like any of these pictures today bro i'm gonna teach y'all how to edit it just like them bro i ain't gonna lie. i'm not gonna do all of them but i'm probably gonna do at least like two to three tutorials on how to do it in this video and stuff two to three pictures and if y'all like this continue watching the video bro i'm gonna show y'all the before and the after products i took all of these pictures on youtube bro like i literally was recording it on youtube y'all could go see the thumbnail right here you feel me if y'all if y'all want to see me taking these pictures y'all got it y'all could go on my my youtube channel i'm literally recorded a video on it and behind the scenes and all and all of that but yeah if y'all want pictures like these bro if y'all want to learn how to nice little pictures like these like you know what i'm saying the color correction and all of that then yeah continue watching this video bro yeah i ain't gonna lie bro let's get into the first one bro first things first bro when you design it hold, hold on i gotta uh turn on my little obs thing feel me hold on oh y'all finna see the little screen share in a minute you yeah. I bet so as y'all can see bro on the screen right here I'm gonna be showing y'all how to edit this picture There's a lot in Photoshop that like you really need to know I know like Photoshop is just a mind game bro Like first of all with Photoshop you just need to know what you want to create Like let's say like if your picture doesn't have enough color right Then you just want to add more color and all of that to that It's really just creativity I use this picture on my site I think it's on my site right now This picture is not edited and none of that And I'm gonna show y'all the unedited version of this picture right So boom this is the unedited, right? 
This is the unedited, and then while I went in Photoshop, this it up a little, and it made it into this, bro. As I can see, feel me? The quality is amazing. Like, it's like a mixture of both. Like, you gotta have good pictures. It's just all about color correction and all that at the end of the day. So once you learn how to, like, color correct and stuff, like, what colors look good with what, then you will really be straight on Photoshop. Well, I'm gonna just show y'all what I did on this. So as y'all can see, the, this is the before and then after. All I did was, you know what I'm saying? This all depends on what you want your photo to look like. You don't gotta do it exactly like mine. So all I did was just zoom in, add some colors, make it pop a little, like, add it towards the theme. Because the theme of this is yellow. Hello, big mouth, know what I'm saying? The graffiti. So you, you gotta put all of that into it, bro. Like it's like all the drops are colorful. Um, pictures are colorful, as y'all can see. This one's colorful. This one's colorful. It's like all colorful. It's like a little theme going on in this. Y'all wanna have y'all theme going on. First things first, bro. What I'm gonna do, go ahead and zoom it up. I'm gonna recreate it. I'm gonna just show y'all what I had to do. Which I wanna do to make it bigger. Click the little layer, click edit, click free transform, or you can just press control to see. That's what I do is make it a little faster. What I'm gonna do right here. I'm just gonna make it bigger just like as y'all seen the final product to be feel me make it bigger so you can see everything it's like it's just your personal preference what you think it looks good what you think don't look good so as I can see it's kind of the same hold on it's kind of the same feel me so y'all can see I can see the quality difference it's just more pop more pops on the final product so and once you got your photo you got your picture and anything you don't want to change nothing let's say you don't want to change the background like this I'm gonna just leave the photo like this I don't want to change the background change the nothing and all I do all my photos is always I just go to camera raw filter go to filter camera raw filter and I just mess with these settings bro I mess with these settings until I find literally the best settings that makes this picture look pop like literally all i'm, I'm telling y'all is just you got to know your colors like what type of theme you're going for bro because you don't want a dark picture if your theme if your shirt is like all colorful and stuff so that's what i'm telling y'all i gotta find y'all lifestyle gotta find y'all theme bro so what i do is i usually zoom in so i can see it better it's gonna mess with these you know what i'm saying until it makes see contrast see it changes if i want to do this different combos could work with stuff like i could have done this if this was the theme but it's not the theme so i ain't gonna do that so yeah, y'all just want to go ahead and play with this. Y'all don't got to use the same exact settings as mine because every picture is going to be different. That's what I'm saying. Like, this is like where all the magic happens, bro. Camera off filter, you just got to mess with the filters and stuff. I'm going to just go ahead and show y'all this, right? See, I don't want to make the background too bright. If I put the highlights up, as y'all see the background, you can't see the background. And I want the background to be showing and stuff. So I'm just go ahead and put this all the way down. See, if you put the highlights down, bro, you know what I'm saying? You just got to mess with it, bro, because now you can see all of the clouds and stuff and all that. Like, which one looks better? All white or all the clouds? Like, I'm telling y'all, what I'm just going to do, I'm just going to mess with it a little bit. Which one looks the best? Feel me? Make sure y'all, bro, please make sure y'all y'all pictures are high quality bro because that's what literally makes it this is high quality it's a high quality picture plus the um, editing I'm telling you you're gonna be locked in bro so i'm just go ahead and mess with this a little bit more and it's all just knowing what you want bro it's already looking like the after picture too y'all see the difference like which one looks like i'm telling you it looks way better like this uh shadows up film you just want to mess with this right here Know what I'm saying you want to put the texture up. Uh, texture up a little bit. I kind of I like zooming in on different places to see like where it looks different and stuff at. So, all right. Do I want a texture? Nah. See, look the difference. Like, look. That's why you gotta play with it a little bit. You can add a little bit, make it look good. You know what I'm saying? But I don't like, I don't wanna add too much texture because I want it to like make it like the soft look, feel me? So once you get up here, contrast, I just like to play with this until I find one that you really like. You just gotta really know what looks good, bro. Once you know what looks good, then you're gonna be good, bro. Highlights, I might put it up a little bit, a little bit. I bet. So, do I want some texture in it or nah? Let me know what y'all think. Texture or nah? I'm gonna add a little bit. So, I'm gonna add like 35. See, look, y'all can see the picture is already coming out way better. Look, this is the raw picture. This is the edited. Like, I'm telling y'all, it's not that hard with Photoshop, bro. You just gotta know your colors, bro. You just gotta know what you're doing. Depending on the picture, the picture is always gonna be different depending if you wanna cut out a person, if you wanna make the background look different. 
You could do all of that, bro. I'm gonna also show y'all how to make the background blurry on Photoshop as well, bro. I'm gonna teach y'all that after this in a second. So, I'm gonna just go ahead and just do this a little bit. Uh, uh, don't copy these exact things because it's gonna be different for every, I'm telling you, every single picture. And you wanna edit it your own way because what's gonna look good on this would not look good on a dark, it wouldn't look good on a regular. Like, if it's not sunny, it would not look good on. So that's what I'm saying. It's not like a preset thing. It's more of like you editing it to make it look like what the photo is really is. If that makes sense, bro. Always know that it might not look like the settings will not work on every single photo because obviously it's different. See the before, after, like it's already looking way 10 times better. Y'all see that? And I didn't even really add no settings. So. I'm gonna go ahead, I might add some vibrance. Vibrance, it makes the colors pop. So I might either add a little bit. This is what I always like to do. I don't really touch the curve and none of that, but you guys can. You can like touch everything, you can see this. Like you could bring it up, you could bring it down. Like you really do anything. But I don't really like to touch the curve. I just like to do like, like a little like, see like this is hard, like see? Right here, like you could either make the background higher or lower, but I'm gonna do that later because look, if I put this all the way down, then I can see the clouds more, and that that will honestly look tough. But as you can see, it, it affects the it affects the person. So look, y'all see the difference? Now it has like the clothes have like a little. What I'm gonna want to do if I don't want it to affect, I don't want this setting to. I want it just to affect the clouds. So y'all can see, I can see the clouds, but the person is getting gray. Is I would just have to cut it out, cut out the person, and then only change the background and put this effect on the background. I'm gonna show y'all, if that sounds confusing, I'm gonna show y'all all of it in a second. I'm gonna just go ahead and finish this. Noise reduction, it makes it all the way smooth, bro. I love doing this. Y'all can see, noise reduction be cooking, bro. I love noise reduction. Like, that's like the whole theme of this whole thing. I like noise reduction, see? I'm gonna just show y'all it. On. Like, y'all see the difference, bro? I like like it's like pops. I'm telling y'all, makes it way more pops, bro. That's what you just want your pictures to look pop. When your pictures look pop, you want it. You know what I'm saying? You want it fire, bro. See now it looks all smooth and everything, but I might turn it down a little. Oh, I might turn it down a little bit because I don't want it too too. So yeah, I add this and then you know what I'm saying. You gotta add some grain to it. Like I'm telling y'all, the the colors are popping. I'm telling you, does this is not look different? This is before, this is after. The photo quality is good itself, but the colors, I usually gotta fix up the colors and stuff. That's what I'm really doing. Y'all can see the difference. Which one looks better in my opinion? Drop down below. So yeah, I'm gonna add some grain. If y'all don't know what this does, you can zoom in. You can like really see it a lot. I like to add a little bit. Like I said, if y'all don't wanna add grain, it's all about the theme of the photos, bro. The photo, you gotta have a theme throughout the whole thing. Like what do you want to pop? What do you want not to pop? Literally all of that. So that's all the settings I wanted to do. And look, y'all can see it change. Like I'm telling you, the filter, just this is just off of one filter, bro. I ain't even done touching it. I ain't done doing nothing to it yet, bro. This is like a real game changer. One, two, y'all can see the difference. Like the colors is popping more as well. So what I'm gonna do now is change the background, bro. First things first, bro. What you wanna do? Cut out the cut out the person. If you guys wanna change anything but the person, like let's say like you wanna make the background brighter, you wanna make the background more blurrier. All you wanna do is it may be different depending on what your Photoshop is set up like, but go to this tool right here, it says pen tool, and all you wanna do, zoom in. If you guys wanna know how to zoom in, if you press alt and then use your mouse scroll wheel, hold alt and then zoom in like this. You could you could do that as well, but if you guys aren't really that like not advanced, but like if you guys don't know the key mines and all that, that's how you zoom in all plus the scroll wheel, that's how you zoom in and stuff. It's a lot easier. Y'all should already know that if y'all using on um, Photoshop. But all you wanna do is go align, zoom in, cut all along the person, bro. Cut all along the person. Y'all just cutting out the person. Make sure y'all get the, these lines. These lines need to be good, like, feel me? These lines need, need to look good. It could like be like the best quality possible. So you're just cutting out the background, not the person. So y'all can see it going all up the knee, feel me? You wanna cut out the whole, whole thing. This is why I really like to take my time on this because I want like the edges to be perfect. I don't not like rushing through this. Cause at the end of the day, it's your brand, bro. You gotta make it the best possible, bro. The best possible right here and then if you hold it 
you could drag it like let's say if you want to make like a little curve and stuff i know a lot of people don't notice but if you use a pencil you could let's say you want to drag it right this is kind of hard, hard to explain but you could hold it right here right and then you could drag it like up and down feel me so you could curve it and all of that like so it could make the like way better literally cut out the person if you guys want a more in-depth tutorial on how to cut out y'all can just go search up my youtube video on how to do the um cut out and stuff it's really really all you have to do is really learn how to use photoshop then once you learn how to use photoshop it's just straight out creativity i'm telling you straight out creativity once you learn how the basics how to cut out and all of that how, that's literally how i learned bro like a few years ago the first thing i learned how to cut out my my bro taught me once you learn how to cut out do all of that add adjustments do all of that then you're really good because i don't use half of these half of these effects on photoshop like y'all see all of these things up here 3d i don't use 3d i don't use none of these up here bro all i use is pen tool erase tool brush tool and just magic hand because look you could erase stuff with that so that's what i'm saying you don't really need to know everything about photoshop you just really need to know the basics bro and once you learn the basics you locked in bro because people people be thinking you need to learn how to do everything on photoshop that's not the case you just need to really learn the basics bro like literally you go watch a youtube video learn how to cut out learn how to use the basics learn where everything's at and then you could cook literally cook up on photoshop it ain't it ain't it ain't hard it's just gonna take some time bro if you really work towards it you got it you can do it i ain't gonna lie you can do it i can't stand around hmm. like, oh my god please don't wait until i'm dead to vocalize i'm great i usually be listening to music while i'm doing this like make the time go faster it's good you know what i'm saying i got y'all with me so i can just talk to y'all let me know down below if you like on photoshop while i'm like talking about this right now comment down below if y'all actually on photoshop right now let me know let me know let me know if you are let me know if you're not bro i, I do suggest y'all go watch a youtube video on how to like cut out like do the curves and all of that because look y'all see the cutout like it's directly on a person you want to get your cutouts really good if you want to i bet so we done with the cutout once you finish cutting it out feel me once you finish cutting out anything you want to right click it you want to connect it of course y'all can see yeah yeah cut it out and then connect it to the beginning right click make selection okay and then press ctrl j you want to click the layer ctrl c ctrl v and then it, it creates another one but i like to do ctrl j because it just duplicates it if you didn't know ctrl j duplicate feel me ctrl j ctrl j du duplicate, 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 feel me see we got the cutout person right here there's websites i could do it easier but if you guys just want to learn how to use Photoshop and all that, just oh, I literally just use it on Photoshop. Background remover, all of that. You just want to cut out the person. So yeah, y'all can see this. Now, if I was to add anything on the layer, make a new layer, add anything behind, it'll go behind the person. All oh, like, Y'all already know that. What I'm going to do is I don't want to edit this thing. So I'm just going to edit the background, feel me? I'm going to go to the layer under it. And then I'm going to go to what I said I wanted to do again. Go up here lower it the background i might add it because this is gonna be the background like the model they not gonna be be edited i'm just gonna edit it like i'm only gonna look at the background i'm not looking at the person i'm not looking at the person because that's not what's gonna be edited so you just want you want to edit it like you just edit in the background all right but see before and after background looks way different now so let's go ahead and use this see now the sky looks way more y'all gonna see the background only changed sky looks way more in shape like you can see it, everything see the only the only thing that has changed is the background the person has not been changed you can also do it if you just want to edit the person then you can just cut them out edit the person just like this you want to change anything if you don't want to change the background and all of that but i'm just gonna leave it like how it is because i like it if y'all want to blur something what i'm gonna do i might not blur this but I'm going to blur like the back background. Now that will look hard. Like let's say like this isn't blurred, but everything back here is blurred like a little bit more. It's already blurry, but I want to make it a little bit more blurred. So I'm going to go to the background layer. As y'all see, we got two layers. We got the model layer, the model layer, and we got the background layer. We're going to go to the background layer and then I'm just going to use the pen tool, right? And I'm going to go along this edge because that's where the blurriness stops. And then I'm going to go right here i'm gonna go around the top because i'm just editing the sky make selection and then press okay and then once you see like this little line 
hit control J. We just got the top now, right? What we want to do at the top? Feel me? Want to make it blur? If you want to change the back, you want to change the color, we can change the color. Feel me? You want to make it a, a purple sky, you know what I'm saying? A, a gray sky, then you could do that if you want to keep the bottom. Feel me? This is a way you could do it. Like, I'm telling you, you just want to know how to cut. If you know how to cut stuff out, then you good. Selecting it out, if I want to make the back gray, if I want to make this white, like I could. Like, I could do that if I wanted to because look, we have it cut out. Editing the top. This is all we're editing. Look, I'm going to show you how. This is literally all we're editing. You want to see this? You can edit this blue. But if you want the person to be the same color, that's where you get this cutout from. So you get this cutout, right? Person blue. Now the background is just blue. And then now I can see all of it. It all makes sense. What I'm going to do right here is I'm going to go back to the original color because I don't want to do that. And then I just got this selected. So this is just the top background. I'm going ahead and going to blur it. Feel me? I'm going to blur it till it look good. Maybe probably like nine. I'm gonna see what it look like. And then, then we got the bottom layer under that. That that's not blurred. And then we got the model layer on top. So it's not. So as y'all can see, like the background here is more blurred. And this isn't blurred. It isn't none of that. So y'all can see the difference. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna blur it a little bit more. Nah, not that much. I bet. So this is good enough. I like this. Now we just added a more blurry background. Now it looks more tough. Might add a little brightness to it. Hit here, you wanna hit the bottom one right here, hit brightness and contrast, and then you could make it like a separate layer. So let's say if you put this all the way up, you could turn it off and on. I suggest you doing this because still edit it once you're done, feel me? So like, let's say like, if you make it a layer, if you make it here, brightness, contrast, you could do any of these, brightness, contrast, and then make it a layer, you could always change it after if you don't like it. So that's why I always do it like that, instead of going up here, because if you go up here, click brightness contrast you can't edit it you just put it up you can't edit it again so that's why if you make it a layer it's always there and it's always editable you can always edit it i like that and i'm gonna just make it brighter brightness contrast uh nah i might make it dark i'm gonna make it dark nah i'm not gonna make the person dark what y'all just want to do, y'all just want to go ahead and just play with these bro i might add some curves if it don't look good at all then i just won't add it And then you could take it off, take it on. I bet. So I like this. Curves. And then if you guys want, you guys can add in hue and saturation, change it. Like, hold on. I might change the background color. I might make it a little different this time. Hold on. Hue saturation. And if you also, another tip. A lot of people don't notice, but if you only want a certain thing to be on that layer, like for example, right? Hue and saturation, it's in the back layer, right? You could change it, do all of this, right? But if you only want it to the layer in the background, let's say you only want it to the sky, right? You wanna click the layer that has the sky. This is the layer that has the blurriness in the sky. You wanna click this, right? Put it on top of it, right click, create clipping mask what that does is this hue and saturation only goes for this layer you can do that with anything bro like any images create clipping mask that's what that create clipping mask does bro you could change up see let's say if it if you have the clipping mask on this layer on the background you could change the color and it'll only go to that layer but if you do not have a clipping mask it'll go to all the layers you know what i'm trying to say it's a little tip if you guys only want it to go to that layer make sure you put it on top of the layer that you want it to go to Right click, create clipping mask, and then it'll only go to that layer. See, now y'all see only the background is getting edited and all of that. See, this looks way better. I like this. These are the three adjustments I use a lot. I just use these a lot. You could also use invert. Feel me? You can use threshold. Like, there's a lot. You just got to play around with it, bro. Photoshop isn't something you're going to learn overnight. Like, Photoshop, because that's how I learned. I learned Photoshop during quarantine. So, it's like, I really, that's why you just got to really learn Photoshop. This isn't something you could just learn off of, like, three YouTube videos. You know what I'm saying? You got to do your research. You got to practice, practice, practice. You're going to get good, bro. Because I've been on Photoshop since, like, 2021. This is the picture we made. I'm going to just go ahead and group it. This is like the drop photo. Like, I'm telling y'all, I'm going to show y'all the before and after again so y'all can see this, bro. I just created another picture for y'all. So, look, this is the before picture. I took this picture on my camera. Hold on, I'm going to show y'all. took this picture on my camera, my Canon EOS. Uh, what's it called? This used to be my old YouTube camera, which I have two lenses for. So, if you guys want this camera, I'll take it off of this camera. If you guys want it, 
uh what's it called hit me up down below because i do have two i do not need two cameras so i might just sell this one so yeah this but this is a camera i use the took it canon os canon eos rp if you guys want feel me battery's dead but it works and all this was actually my old youtube camera so y'all can see this but yeah this is the raw camera from the photo i literally just uploaded this to photoshop and this is what i made it to this is the before and this is the after like i'm telling y'all bro photoshop be changed bro photoshop gonna get y'all right i promise y'all photoshop gonna get y'all right bro comment down below if this helps y'all but look y'all see it the before after i just showed y'all how to do that whole thing bro i'm telling hit that like, bro hit that like button bro i just showed y'all how to do this whole thing i just gave y'all the free sauce so yeah before after y'all can see i just watch y'all hold through this bro that's the first picture we're gonna do I'll show y'all how to edit another picture because this video gonna be a little bit long so yeah i'm gonna just show y'all how to edit one more photo and then yeah because i don't want this video to be too long for y'all boys bro i ain't gonna lie i might put two more photos let's get straight into this next photo bro we keep the ops on their toes, we keep the thoughts on their knees Gave him a pass, and him in the room like please Keep me a new F and N, Timothy Pistols pew, 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 pew. Yo, what's good with y'all? We are about to get into the second picture, bro. And as y'all can see, feel me? Let me go ahead and share my screen on my PC for y'all real quick. First things first, show y'all the post on Instagram. It did crazy, first of all. As y'all know, these are literally just the pictures we just did. This is the photo I just showed y'all, feel me? Like, I literally actually posted it. I'ma show y'all how to edit y'all photos. I'll teach y'all how to do colors and everything. This is the before pic, you feel me? This is the raw pic. This is the before, and this is the after, bro. As I can see, a little zoomed in, you know what I'm saying? The color just popping, colors looks better, everything, bro. Y'all can see this, look, hold on. Y'all can, can see, color is really what makes it pop before, after, before, and after. So I'm gonna just go ahead and show y'all how to do this. Bro, as y'all know, you know what I'm saying? Hit the control T, or you can go ahead and click edit up here, click free transform, and then boom, go ahead. I'm gonna just go ahead and zoom it in on how I like it, feel me? How I want the photo to be. I'm gonna try. I'm not gonna recreate it exactly, but I'm just going over. I'm just going to show y'all what y'all could do. You know what I'm saying? How to edit y'all photos and all that. And I'm just going to make it bigger to however I like it. This is how I want to do mine. You know what I'm saying? It's just everything is different for every for a different photo. Try to go for like I want it to be um, to like show a little bit, but the top to show a little bit. So just gotta add it. I'm gonna go ahead and put it like right here, bro. Because this is how I like the photo to be. This is, boom, this is the placement I want to do. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to cut her out. So I, if I want to edit the background, I can. But I'm going to do that after. I'm going to edit all the photos, and then I'm going to cut her out if I want to change anything. I put the photo right here. Now, now, now all you got to do is just cook up, bro. Literally, cook up. So I always start at the contrast. I never mess with the exposure because I don't, I don't, I don't like doing that. Because it just makes it bright for no reason. You could change the highlights and stuff. So contrast. Might add a little bit of contrast. Y'all don't know what contrast does, like literally. So add a little bit of contrast. I'ma add. You want to know the vision of your photo before you go ahead and design it. Because if you just go, if you don't know what you want it to look like, you're just gonna be sitting here for hours, bro. I want this whole thing to be like blended into this. So if y'all like, I want it to be like a white glow shadow. That makes sense. So that's what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna put up the highlights. As I can see, so see like right here, you can see it but right here you really can't so it makes this whole side like the light source it makes this whole side bright and that's what i'm going for so i'm just go ahead and up that a little bit but not too much to where you can't see this red feel me so like the bottom you can see the red but like feel me you want to still see the red so i'm gonna just go ahead and i'm gonna leave it i would say like right here i would say i'm gonna leave it like right here feel me and it's already looking different it's already looking different 10 times better you guys you guys want to know what you want your photo to look like bro and then you gotta get the mind you gotta get it in your mind and you gotta execute it i'm gonna do right here uh i bet so i'm not gonna mess with the shadows because they don't really do nothing so i'm gonna just leave it here but in that so whites black whites and blacks is kind of like up in the white color and then black up in the but that's like highlights and shadows so i don't mess with that uh texture hmm. i don't know i'm not too sure if i should add texture on this nah i'm not going um i might add a little bit clarity 
Nah, because I don't want the person to look like that. So I'm gonna leave the clarity down. Because all of my pictures, I want it to like look like this move type. So, as I can see, this is, I might add the brightness, I mean vibrance a little bit to make the color. See, look, this, y'all can see the difference, right? This is the original, and then you add some vibrance towards it. I'm gonna add, like, I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna leave it halfway 50. So now you can really, really see the colors and stuff. If you wanna really see the colors, you can also add saturation, but it makes it, like, too harsh. I don't know what I'm trying to say. But I might add it to, like, 15 so yeah 15 i might lower this to 30 i might put this to 10 so yeah y'all can see is y'all just gotta look at the colors look at all that y'all can see before this is before this is after you know what i'm saying it's already looking popped and all of these pictures i uh, noise reduction make it like way more smooth so y'all can see oh y'all can see this uh, before after so yeah i'm gonna make it smooth and all of that uh let me see if anything else i got out let me see go back here i'm add a little bit of clarity i don't know, I like that i can see i can see everything d haze i don't really touch d haze because they don't do nothing except for like make it like nah this sucks like i don't touch d haze d haze i don't touch I don't touch DHA's at all, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I, bro, I've probably never touched DHA's. Probably never touched DHA's ever. But, yeah, curve. We can see if we want to change anything about this. Uh, curve. Uh, mm, mm, we can change it a little bit. Yeah, I could make it a little bit. Actually, nah. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it like a little bit brighter. Just a little bit. I'm gonna turn this down. And I'm gonna just see if there's... Nah, I'm gonna just leave everything like this. So, before, after. Y'all can already see the difference. This is just on camera. I'm telling y'all, this is literally just on camera. Uh, effects, I'm gonna add some green. You know what I'm saying? Green, I can see how much y'all want. I'm, I like to add a lot because it, like, it literally, like I'm telling y'all, makes the photo the photo. Like it makes it that photo. Let me just turn this up a little bit. I bet. So I'm put this at 40. Yo, I can't. I can't do like. That. It has to be like by five. That's how I always do it. So I don't touch none of these over here because I don't really know what any of these do. Yeah, these just change the color and stuff. But yeah, we ain't gonna be touching that. So I'm just go ahead and click OK. And as y'all seen, this the little the picture's already looking good before or after. It's kind of already looking the same. So I'm just go ahead and fix this a little bit. Boom. So after we add the camera. Roll, I'm gonna go ahead and see if I should do anything with this brightness. Ch change it down a little bit, put it up. I might leave it to 10. A little difference, but not too crazy. Levels, uh, all the levels does is like, feel me, make it like this. You could make it more white or you could bring down the brightness. It's like bringing down the brightness and stuff, but I like to leave it like a little bit faded. So y'all can see, y'all can see the difference, right? Like it looks like it looks more fill like the dark spots aren't as much as there because it has a little bit of like a white fade to it. So I ain't gonna add a much to that. Y'all ain't y'all don't have to add it, and I'm just showing y'all how to do it for this type of photo. We added the levels, everything. This is already looking good. We could leave it, or what we could do, we could add some lighting into it, bro. So what y'all wanna do? Create a new layer, add some shadows to it, bro. Get y'all brush right. Get y'all brush, make sure it has zero hardness, you know what I'm saying, the size, any size. What I do is I make it, you wanna click, you wanna right click, go to the brush size, go to the brush right here, right click, right click on the photo and then you can change the size, feel me? Size could be different. You can make it 160 or you can make it 5,000. The hardness is just how hard the brush is. So like if you put it at 100, it's gonna be completely, if you put it at zero, 
self-explanatory. Y'all already know this. I don't gotta explain this to y'all. I'ma go to the black because I do wanna add some shadows around the bottom. That's what a lot of people, I'ma show here y'all an example right quick. Uh, example of the shadows, bro. Y'all can see right here. Y'all see at the bottom, so how it was like dark and stuff a little bit. How it's like a little dark, you know what I'm saying? Dark little shadow at the bottom. Uh, it's only did it for that pick, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, y'all can see how it was dark. It looks tough. I like adding shadows to it because shadows is what I like, in my opinion, really makes the picture. I'm gonna go ahead and see if I added it to any of these, but now nah, I haven't. So yeah, what y'all wanna do is, bro, go to the black, and what y'all wanna do is get y'all brush, zoom out a little bit, and just go along the bottom, feel me? Y'all can see how it's getting darker. Y'all see how it's getting darker like that? Oh, don't do that. But go along the bottom, I would say, like, I always do this. Go along the bottom. So, like, y'all can see that darkness. Y'all know y'all can see it. See? It looks ten times better, bro. I'm telling y'all. Y'all can see that darkness. Go, like, you zoom in. Go along the edge. Make it darker Um, some places more than others. Y'all can just see this little shadow. Or you could just, feel me, right here. Tap. Tap. You know what I'm saying? You could put some dark shadow along the top. It really makes the picture pop because not a lot of people add shadows to the little photo to, to the photo shoot pics, bro. And I don't know why they don't. So, you know what I'm saying? Add a little shadow at the top. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can see the darkness at the top. Y'all can see. Y'all can see. Look, this is after the shadow. Before, after. Like, it just makes the picture pop a, like, a little bit more. And then, what you could do, since you already have a, a black shadow around the dark spots, you could up the brightness, so like, the picture is really popping. See, look, this is without it, feel me? Like, the picture is really popping. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna add probably like, I'm gonna put like 20 brightness. So y'all can see, the picture already looks way better, looks way more professional. I might lower down the, um, to the shadow if you guys want to lower down the shadow you guys click here opacity and it just lowers it so it don't got to be dark like 100% dark I might put like probably like uh, I'll say that's good I'll put like 80 I'm gonna do like 80 so yeah once I got the shadow and everything next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this white a little bit like a little bit more see I, you see like this is hard bro it's like the sun, like it's like a sun there, but it's really not a sun there. Feel me? So you know what I'm saying? I didn't really do nothing. I just went the brush, make it around like 2,000, put it on white, and I'm just going to tap around this. So like it's kind of like blurring, making it like a little bit blurry. Feel me? So you could see less of the wall right there. Uh, so I do. Yeah, I'm gonna put a linear dodge add. Nah, I'm just do normal. Never mind. So yeah, y'all can see, feel me? The white is adding like a little more brightness to it. So y'all can just see in that whole corner. I might lower it a little bit. Oh no, I'm on a wrong, oh, I'm on a wrong layer, bro. Make sure y'all make an, everything, anytime y'all add a brush, make sure y'all add a new layer, bro. Trust, anytime you do a brush, anytime you do a shadow, make sure they're all on a different layer so you can change it afterwards because look, if I put this white on a black layer, if I take off the black, then the white's gonna go with it. So like you want it to be all on a different layer so you could change each different layer, each different brush, you could change all of that. You don't want everything to be all on one layer, you want it all to be different. So feel me, I'm going to new layer, I'm gonna add the white, white, just a little bit of white right here. You know what I'm saying? Make it glow a little more. And that's looking, looking already better. I'm gonna add some white at the top, but not too much. And this looking way 10 times better, bro. Y'all can see, hold on, y'all can see, with, without, I'm telling y'all, it looks way better. I might lower the opacity a little bit, but I don't know, I think that's, that, that's a good, that's a good way. This is literally just all I do for these, um, for this past job I just did. I just showed y'all the basics of Photoshop and like, once you really learn Photoshop, then you could really like, then it just offer creativity off that point but let me know down below if you guys want more videos on like how to use photoshop and all that because i know photoshop pretty well because i've been on photoshop for a minute so yeah if y'all are new make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe bro i appreciate all the support bro because look we are we just hit 5k like last week and we already have 5.2k so if you guys are new make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe i appreciate all you guys for support if you guys did like this video let me know down below what's one thing i learned feel me 
Cause you know, I'm just here to give y'all free sauce, bro. I swear, I'm just here to give y'all free sauce, bro. If y'all have any, any more questions, DM my Instagram. If you guys want to DM my Instagram, you guys can. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram. DM my Instagram. I also have a mentorship too as well. So if you guys want like more deep in help on Photoshop, like a Photoshop mentorship, I do have those. So you guys can pay. You guys get my personal number and everything. So if you guys have a question, you could deep. literally text my number any time of the day. Even when I'm at school, bro. I might not text while I'm in school, but hey, if you guys do want my mentorship, DM my Instagram. Just say, um, DM my Instagram. Uh, I want mentorship or something like that and I'll respond and they give y'all that. So yeah, if y'all new, make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe. Y'all forgot about our outro. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I forgot about our outro, bro. Uh, yeah. So if y'all new, make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe. Hold on, bro. Hold on, what's that? Yo! <laughs> like, oh my God, please don't wait until I'm dead to vocalize I'm great. I was first to break the bank from in my last name. I got rich and bought a crib to build a window pane. Big enough and bright enough that I'll shine on my pain. Mama said my papa said I'm on the side missions. Eating fried chicken, been the cool wide body whip. Every ex I ever had was useless, I ain't grow at all. Except for one who held me down, that's my fucking dog. 30 million plus in revenue by 24 on pimping.